Hi, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. I learned a really cool thing this week. I learned how to take my quilting designs from Art and & Stitch and transfer them to Electric Quilt. Let me share with you in this video how I did that. Okay, I'm going to start by showing you the designs that I did in Art and & Stitch. And this was actually for a Ferris wheel quilt that I had um, redone using some new fabrics from Anthology. And I had decided I wanted some new quilting designs to go with that. So um, I originally did the quilt in electric using the Anthology fabrics, uh, brought the photo into Art and Stitch and in that corner here you can see the designs and um, let me just zoom in a bit. I'm going to turn on my navigator button. For the border I was using a sort of circle design and actually both pieces in the border um, are acting independently so if I pull this away you can sort of see that um, that one is different than different piece than the outside. And the inside of the quilt for the background I had done uh, a series of three circles that were sort of interlocking uh, and notice that it fills the space and then for the center of the block um, I did an I started with an ellipse and then put eight of those together, uh, strung those all together so they could be done as a continuous design and then for um, you know, I'll consider that like a Joseph's ladder type of block. I did a couple of ellipses and a couple of circles there. So, and for the inner border, I did a triple swag, and that is a point to point design. Um, but I will end up uh, um, sewing that um, as a repeat. And I did something similar in what I call my wheel type of block. Uh, in the quilt and let me make that a little bit lighter so you can see the design. Now, now let me talk a little bit about how to bring the designs into uh, back into electric quilt. So let's start with this um, big design. When I designed these in Art and Stitch I sized them to fit the space in my actual quilt. I'm going to do a control C, do a file new, and set up a new design in Art and Stitch, bring this in, and do a control V to paste. I'm going to first of all just save it in my Art and Stitch format. So for this one, um, I'm going to save it as a Ferris wheel um, background and I'll click on save to save it in the EXP format because that is a format that Electric Quilt can um, can import. So I will do a file, save as, and note that these have to be stitched documents that are, those are the only ones that will save in that. Part. And so I will uh, go to the uh, Melco Bernina EXP, uh, still keep the same name, and click on Save. Okay, let's switch over to Electric Quilt. And what we're going to do, first of all, is bring the designs into Electric Quilt. And to do so, go to Libraries, go to Embroidery Library and you're going to want to import from an EXP file. So click on that and then navigate to where you saved the file. So this is in my Ferris wheel folder and this one was FW um, background.exp. So I'm going to click on that and select open and it's saying that there's some stuff that is not found. Um, basically, I think this file has three parts and it's only reading one of the parts. Doesn't matter. Click on OK. And then it says it can't find the color file. And so it's going to default, I think, to a black color. But that's OK also. So 
the file then is here and we just need to add it to the sketchbook and click on close. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to layer 3 because layer 3 is where embroidery gets added and there is an icon for set embroidery. If you do not have that icon on your computer, just uh, select the custom toolbar, add remove buttons, find the set embroidery and make sure that that is clicked, is checked. So anyway, I'll do set embroidery. Now I've pulled in a bunch of other of these designs, so I'm just gonna go to the one I just put in, which is this last one here, and I'm going to drag it on my quilt and let me just zoom in and we can see the design is there. I'm going to use the adjust tool. I'm going to select it and I'm going to um, put it in place and I'm then going to select this set thread tool and again if you don't have this um, also just add that. I'm going to uh, select a blue and I'm going to click on the object and it recolors the whole thing in that blue. Now it doesn't, even though I've clicked on the style for the dashed, it does not let me do it. It just brings in the lines from Art and Stitch, but I still think that it I still think it provides me with a view of what my quilting design is going to look like. I'm going to quickly go ahead and take you over to the document where I've actually put um, uh, a bunch of my quilting designs in just so you can see what that looks like. Um, and so let me go ahead and zoom in on this upper corner here so you can see what I'm doing. And I did do some uh, swap out of the threads just to make it visible uh, here, but you can see that all of the designs uh, very nicely come in to Electric Quilt and allow me uh, to addition my fabrics or my my quilting designs here. And one of the things I really like is is now this is saved as part of my Ferris wheel file, and so um, if I you know, in wanting to talk to a customer that wants this design on their quilt, I can show them what I've done in an um, in electric quilt. Thanks so much for watching. If you are interested in purchasing either the design for the Ferris wheel pattern or the quilting designs, are, they are available for sale on my website at www.onpointquilter.com. I would also love to have you sign up for my weekly newsletter.